Hi everyone, this is Roxas1359, welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet & Clank Going Commando. Last time we finished up Planet Notak and found out where exactly the thief is, and they are on Planet Siberius. And if you saw the last part of the episode, what I added in is that I ended up, you know, getting all of the ship upgrades. So, without further ado, I've been debating on it, we're gonna go to Siberius first. And then we're going to end up going to NoTech. So, not NoTech, to the Felton system. So, let's go to the frozen place. Place? Base on Siberius. There are two platinum bolts and only one skill point. So, let's go. Whee! And welcome to Planet Siberius! I obviously don't need to go over the pun for this. Ah, yes. Nothing but cold, frigid areas all around. And, Gadgetron, is there anything new to buy besides the synth noise? Nope! Alright then, so... Okay, I have all my ammo, so... Let us just break everything! This is when we're gonna start actually getting a lot more bolts for a lot of things you're gonna start noticing. So, let's use the secret gun, because I want to upgrade this. Right? And we're actually going to end up getting... After these guys... Oh, nope. I don't know what I was trying to do. I hate these things. Die. 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 Right, that should be all of them. And we'll get new... Robots! That shoot fireballs. The fireballs actually can hurt them, so... Uh, can hurt each other, so pretty much these are the upgraded robots, because remember, pallet swap equals power. Anyway, go behind here, and you will see a snowman. Break it, and you just broke the snow, Dan, you horrible, horrible monster. That is a skill point for it. Uh, it is reference to Dan. I can never remember his last name, unfortunately, and I really feel bad about that during how he passed away. Uh, Dan has pretty much always had a cameo in actually every single uh, of the original Spyro the Dragon games, as well as uh, every single Ratchet and Clank game. To my knowledge, I have found at least one reference to Dan, um, and I find that pretty cool. So, up there is a bunch of robots with more pallet swaps, because pallet swap equal power! Always remember that, kids! Pallet swap equals power. Anyway, if we actually go up there, I wonder if I can camera up to it. You can see the first platinum bolt. So, guess what, guys? Believe it or not, we're actually going to be using our tractor beam to get that. We're actually going to be, you know, using the tractor beam again. It's amazing. We haven't used it in, in, like, ages. So, go down here. I don't have my tractor beam equipped, obviously, because I don't use it. It's in gadgets. There we go. I need to kill these things first. Bye-bye. All right, so that takes care of them. So, we have this little platform right here. I don't have it there, so good thing for the quick select. Can't wait for the third game in which the quick select wheel gets added to three. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move this all the way over here. Up, oh, whoa. It's going to be kind of finicky. I guess that's probably why they didn't do more puzzles like this. Oh, that was weird. All right, and push this forward. And now we're going to... Jump on up and go and grab that first Platinum Bolt. Siberius is really a planet that you're going to take care of your first try, really. And only if you miss the Platinum Bolt, that's the only reason you'd ever come back here. And again, the same can really be said for other things. But there are certain planets that you have to come back to later. Anyway, a uh, quick discrepancy that, well, thing I got wrong was that before I used to say that there were only uh, six nanotech boosts, there are nine. Which means your nanotech will cap out at 90 and then... Um, the 10 nanotech boost will get you to 100. So, now we're going to put this right here, and let's hope that I can do this, because we're going to go after the second platinum bolt. So, what we're going to do is we're going to glide over this way and land on that roof right over here. Let's see if I can do it. There we go. This is one I missed a lot when I was a kid. And I mean a lot. Should be around here. There it is. And this is the second Platinum Bolt for the planet. This is one I honestly wouldn't be surprised if 
people ended up missing because this one's quite out of the way. In fact, actually, we won't come to this part of the level, believe it or not. So, let's go up right here, and there is a way to get back, and it is to simply long jump over this way and hopefully make it, grab it, grab it. There we go. All right, so that takes care of all the platinum bolts and all of the skill points on Siberius, so we don't need to come back here. So, let's go and get that experiment back, shall we? But first, blow everything up. Everything must die. Oh, no! Go away! Go away! Now! Please! Ah, that's right, I only have one left. Oh, what?! Looks like it's mini turret time! I definitely need to go and get some ammo. I'm tempted to get some ammo right now, but I think the mini turret glove will last me for right now. Technically, I don't even need to take care of these guys, but I kind of want to. One, for the experience, and two, the lovely, lovely bolts, because they give you a crap ton of bolts now, ladies and gentlemen. I love it. Oh, God! Oop. Oh! Ow! Attack my minions! My minions, it seems like you killed each other. It's not what you're supposed to do. Right, and there we go. And that takes care of them. So once we get to here, okay, I don't need to buy ammo. There's a vendor right there. I didn't remember if there was a vendor there or not. And we have a thing to return us to our ship. I honestly don't understand why this is here. I honestly don't. That just activates it, so I just wanted to do that. But it makes no sense. Anyway, let us buy some ammunition. And any turrets. And let's go on in. And now into the second part of Siberius. This is actually a part that you're not going to return. We're constantly driving on these giant vehicles. Which is why the bolts are going to end up starting to fly backwards, you're going to notice. All right. So, over there, and we have our swing shot target. So, I don't have my swing shot on here. I really should... I should actually put that in my quick select. Uh, Viso Bomb. I don't need the Viso Bomb. Actually, until the next two worlds. So, uh, swing shot. And... Up we go! Die. Ow! There we go. Ah, crud! Where did you guys come from? Go away! Oh. Ah! No! Go away! And we are now in a boss fight against the thief! So! Attack! 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 Attack. And there is the stun animation that I unfortunately know of because of a stupid glitch. I will explain about that glitch that happened to me later on. Alright, so... Get some Seeker ammo. The one thing I don't like about the Seeker, and I think I've mentioned this before, is the fact that you can only get two Seeker uh, ammos at a time. I like the Seeker gun. I need more of it. Not less. I can't tell. Did they kill each other? Good sir! I was about to say, if you end up dying, then I kind of screwed. Alright, so... Let's go up here now. And... Time for the next part. Oh god, the glitch, no! I think it might end up activated. Alright, so you might have heard that the... Thief was making a weird sound effect. I pray to God it doesn't happen to me because I seem to have this curse upon me. But for right now, let us end up going up here. Really nervous about this. This is actually one of the reasons why I was waiting to do uh, Ratchet and Clank 2, actually, believe it or not. Oh boy. Oh god, there they are. Whoop. Ow. Go. Screen nuke! Ah, that did nothing! Go away right now. There. All right, moment of truth time. This is something I've been dreading, and I don't know what it is about me that I get this glitch to happen all the time. Let's hope to God it doesn't happen. So, Venda? 
And... There we go. And this one will return you to your ship. This one makes sense. The other one doesn't. So, let's go inside here. Imperialistic eco fascism to another dimension. Say goodbye to your Franken best. Come on, Frank. Too slow, corporate lackey. Uh oh. Oh, that sound effect. I'm nervous. But we are now in a full on boss fight now against the thief. Gotta watch out for him because he will eventually start summoning up a bunch of enemies. I always get scared whenever he does that um, thing. And here he comes summoning enemies. Uh, Want to make this really easy? Mini turret up the wazoo. The mini turrets, if you put enough of them into these guys, it will be hilarious. Alright, so take care of everything right here he will just always summon back new turrets so this is actually a good way to build up some experience in case you want to waste time in my case I've had terrible instances with boss and we'll see if these instances continue I'm using the uh, Tesla clock because of the force habit which is sad because this is the last game that it appears in. right come on let's finish this up boom Boom, 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 and there we go! You had us worried for a moment. Do you suppose we should stop him? Not worth it. We got what we came for. Let's just get that little guy back to Mr. Fizzwidget. Ratchet? Spank? Is that you? We've accomplished our mission, sir. The experiment is safe and in our possession. <gasps> Why, that's cutaneous! Absolutely munificent! You two are a galopsious team! We were glad to assist, sir. We just need coordinates to our next rendezvous point. Of course. I'm on my way to give a tour of Megacorp's historical mining site. Here's a little pack talk on the fragility. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining, a tireless drum major leading the galaxy on its march of progress. Come to our desert mining facility and see why our most precious product is our history. When we first arrived, we found a planet completely overrun by rainforest. To better accommodate the local wildlife, we transformed this impassable jungle into an easily navigable desert. Ever the technological pioneer, Megacorp invented the automated management team thereby eliminating costly upward mobility and all the while making your life richer. Megacorp Manufacturing and Mining. Our march continues to the tune of progress and profitability. Call Investor Relations today. Is that facility still operational, sir? Alas, no, but it's steeped in hysterics. I've offloaded the condiments to your naval computer. We'll see you there. Hey, there's Mr. Fizzwidget. What happened? Everything's fine. There was just a bit of debris on the landing pad. That was our ship. Don't worry about it, little fella. It's insured. So, do you have the, uh, delivery? Terrifulous! Come, gentlemen, there is precious little time. Just sit back and relax, boys. How about a little flying music? God dang it, Fizz Widget! He did that on purpose. Nah, he's just easily distracted. Yeah, well, well... <laughs> 
Come on, let's see if we can find a way out of here. Oh, that little clank was adorable. Oh boy, I am so excited that that glitch didn't happen. So, what glitch is it that I was talking about that could happen during the thief fight? This, I don't, I never figured out if this was a glitch or if this happened in because my old copy of the game was scratched up. In the PS2 version of the game, when I was fighting the thief, I pretty much ended up killing him multiple times. But he kept on doing the animation, and he wouldn't exactly trigger the cutscene. And then the times it would trigger the cutscene, it would play the cutscene over and over again. I thought it was because my disc was scratched up, so I was going to the HD version. Problem is, the same exact thing happened in the HD version to me. And I don't know, if this has happened to you guys, uh, feel free to say it in the comments, because it was weird, and it constantly happened. And the fact that the thief kept on saying, doing the sound clips messing up with his basically like stumbling and falling is what got me scared. Oh boy. But anyway, guys, I'm actually going to end it off right here. This has been Roxas1359. Next time, we're going to try and find our way out of this cave thanks to Fizz Widget and his stupidity. Now I feel like I wasted my time with that raritanium. See you guys next time.